on. All right, Rox, if you or someone you know has a problem with prescription painkillers, well, you know there are many options out there when it comes to treatment centers. But how do you know which ones are good? Jeffrey Hathy with Ambrosia Treatment Center sure. is working with local lawmakers to create awareness about the opioid crisis. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. Once again, another super timely uh, topic that we have here. Why has the problem in Florida gotten so out of control? Well, that's an easy answer. Florida's been the mecca for recovery for a long time. There's more treatment centers in Florida than anywhere in the country. So with the influx and volume that has come to Florida along with the opioid epidemic that's going on, there were some rogue players that got involved in it. Mm -hmm. So now with Dave Arenberg and the task force, we're working to clean that up. All right. So if you're looking for help, how can you tell the good centers from the not so good or the terrible? It's very confusing at yeah. times because you have, a, you have a, a loved one who has suffered from an addiction, you want to get help. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people aren't knowledgeable. So what I suggest is, how long has the facility been in business? Mm -hmm. How is their family program? What is their family involvement? Uh, are they working with local law enforcement? Are they doing evidence-based outcomes, i.e. working with different universities? We work with a couple of different universities mm -hmm. as far as improving our outcomes. All right, it's important that... Uh you don't make a mistake in a situation like this. How do you make sure, how important is it that you get it right the first time? That, that's a tough question to answer because uh, with addiction, unfortunately, relapse is part of the process. So you want to make sure you follow the criteria that I mentioned before. And, and you can also, if you have any confusion, please feel free to call our admissions department. We strategically place people in the right facility for the right match for them. So not everyone who calls us is the right fit for us, but we make sure they go to the proper facility. All right, we talk about Florida, you know, being involved in this for many, many years. How does Florida compare with other states when it comes to this crisis? Well, as far as the, as far as cleaning up the industry, right. well, I think Dave Arenberg, Al Johnson, and his team have done a fantastic job. In fact, I was with Dave two weeks ago, and he had a call with 17 different district attorneys in different states talking about this so we're the trendsetter for cleaning it up all right so that's part of the process and, and you're working with local lawmakers to clean it up correct we right. work with uh, the gentleman up in Tallahassee for legislation we work with DCF for regulations and we also again work with local law enforcement all right you mentioned if anybody has any questions they can give you a call go ahead and throw that number out there well go to our website it's www.ambrosiatc.com all right for more tips uh, also and to uh, learn more about Ambrosia Treatment Center you can head over to our website as well WPTV.com we threw too much information out there at you <laughs> but it's important information. Jeffrey, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you, Continued sir. Continued success. Appreciate Your success will be our success as well. Absolutely. Right. Thank Let's you. Let's go back to Roxanne.